Hey, good day, folks. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Uh, I can't complain. I've been blessed. Anyhow, we're going to be driving through Syracuse, Indiana. So welcome to Syracuse, Indiana. Now, the name Syracuse, Indiana, was, the name Syracuse was named after Syracuse, New York. That's where Syracuse, Indiana came from, name-wise. Anyhow, Syracuse, Indiana is located in the northern region of Indiana. It is located kind of between South Bend and Fort Wayne. Uh, 41 miles northwest is South Bend. 48 miles to the southeast is Fort Wayne. So those are going to be your two closest metro areas to Syracuse. And whatever amenities or whatever it is you're looking for that you're not able to find here, if you don't wanna if you don't wanna have to drive to any of the metros, you'll most likely be able to find 13 miles west of here, which is Napanee, Indiana, which I got that video on this channel. That's the city where I got pulled over that one that, that that one time. So feel free to go back on the channel and watch those videos. Now the population here is currently sitting at 3,079 people. With a population growth of 9.6% as of the 2020 census. The population back in 2010 used to be 2,810 people. Now Syracuse for most of its existence has been growing. Now there's been a few census years to where the city has declined a little bit in population but for the most part Syracuse is a growing community. Now Syracuse does have a tad bit of crime now, as far as it goes for the property crime here, the property crime here is not bad. It's lower than national average. I mean, violent crime here is lower than national average. Property crime is not that bad, but it does, it is a little above national average. Property crime is 15% above national average. So again, not bad. But since it is above national average, I thought I would at least mention that for those of you that are concerned about that type of stuff. And the racial demographics here are 86.3% white, 10.8% Hispanic. And if you're looking to move here, your median rent prices are gonna go from 700 to $1,420 a month. Your median home price is gonna be $302,000. And of course, that price is going to primarily be because you're located in a waterfront community. And of course, you're within. Now, time wise, you're going to be a little over an hour outside of downtown Fort Wayne. But just to get to Fort Wayne, you'll be within an hour of Fort Wayne. And you're within an hour of South Bend, too, like I mentioned earlier in the video. And I'm sorry for the camera shaking this. Uh, I'm sorry for the camera, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work on my footage a little bit. Like, whenever I drive through these waterfront communities, I try to give you guys a glimpse of the water. Because sometimes, if you're, when you watch my videos, you're not going to be able to see the water too well. And I want you guys to be able to see some of the water as I drive through the, these type of communities. And the house I just drove you guys to is one of the houses that are, that's for sale. Now, I didn't mean to drive there. I thought it would be like a street to where I was able to drive through. I did not know it was a dead end. But since the house was sitting there for sale, I thought I would just go ahead and show some of you some of you guys that there is a house there for sale 
And I would say Syracuse could be a nice community for the right person. I mean, there are people moving up. There are people buying houses and, and moving out here. Now, per usual for this region of Indiana, during the winter months, it's going to be a little chilly. Now, I will say this past winter, Indiana has had a fairly mild winter. But that doesn't mean that the temperatures aren't going to get cold because they still will get cold. So if you're looking for a place to live all year round, uh, if you're good with with uh, if you're good with colder weather for I would say at least six months out of the year, and you're good with a lot of days of gray, overcast skies for I would say an average of six months or so out of the year, then this could be a good place for you to live. I mean, obviously, you will get to enjoy the views of the water on a regular basis. Now, honestly, I think for many of you, Syracuse would probably be a better community for maybe a summer getaway. For those of you that got that bread and you're able to afford two houses, you might have, you know, maybe your primary address might be somewhere in a warmer climate. And then when it gets a little hotter than what you desire in some of these warmer places, uh, you can always come up here to northern Indiana to a city like Syracuse and purchase yourself a home or maybe rent yourself a vacation home and hang out up here for a few months out the year if you have that type of ability. I mean, I'm thinking with more people working online and be more creative in terms of how one makes their money these days due to technology. There's more people that are doing exactly that. I mean, they may not necessarily be buying two houses because houses are just crazy expensive all the way from the cost to the maintenance to the taxes to the insurance. But you do got more people that are, you know, they're kind of following the climate a little bit. Like you got people that might spend maybe six months out of the year in, in the warmer places of the country. Like, like, you know, like, uh, like for an example, you got someone that might spend six months or so out the year somewhere in Florida or maybe somewhere in Georgia or Alabama. And then for about maybe four to six months out the year, they might come up here where it's cooler, where you can enjoy cooler weather and, and not so much humidity. Now, I would say the nicest parts of the year to come up here, of course, are going to be during the summer months. I would say from maybe, I would say from maybe May uh, up until October would be the best time of the year to come up here to northern Indiana. I mean... Honestly, you could probably get away with staying up here until maybe mid-October. But then after around mid-October, it's, you know, that's when it starts getting cold. And that's when you start to see more overcast days compared to days of sun. So I would say from May to October, I mean, that's, that's a good, I mean, I would say for about five months or so out of the year, uh, weather-wise, would be, you know, five months out five months out of the year from May to October would be the best times to come up here if you're looking for that second home or you're just wanting to come up here to visit for a vacation. But, you know, but let, uh, so, well, let's see how other people feel about Syracuse. 
Yeah, I can't really add anything more to the more to what I'm going to say than what I've already said, because I'm not from up here. I mean, I think it's a beautiful city, and would I want to live up here all year round? Not at all. It's too cold. But that's me. But let's see what other people have to say about Syracuse. All right. Uh, on Niche, there's been 12 reviews of Syracuse. Syracuse has got a four out of a five-star rating. Uh, here's the breakdown real quick. Three people say this community is excellent. Six people say it's very good. Two people say it's average. One person say it's poor. And nobody gave it a terrible. So we're going to start from five. We're going to go to... We're going we're gonna to go down to two stars. In this case. Alrighty. Here's the first five-star review. From a... I mean, August of 2018. It is a nice little tourist town with a lake for the summer. Lots of boaters and tourists flock here during June through August. Okay, that makes sense. Those are the warmest months of the year. And of course, on this video, the lake that you guys are going to see, that's going to be Lake Syracuse. The lake, of course, is going to be named after the city itself. And just like the video I made yesterday, this video, I mean, Syracuse is also considered part of the uh, lake region of Indiana. Okay, this second one, another five star from uh, April of 2017. I have lived in Syracuse, Indiana for almost 13 years now, and the town is beautiful. We have lakes as far as the eyes can see and every summer this is the place to vacation for all the lakers the people are nice the food is awesome and you'll leave with a smile on your face okay nice to know and we'll we'll read one more this is from december of 2016 this is a five star review Syracuse is an amazing town with experiences for everyone. During the summer, there's there's boating, parties, clubs that you can join. The lakes around Syracuse are perfect for any person that lives in the city to get away. Okay. Uh, here's the first four star, which is from January of 2022. Syracuse is booming with people in the summer, and it gets pleasantly quiet during the winter. Uh, there not there's not too many things to do, but there's a lot of local businesses. And this next one, which is another four star from January of 2021. I lived in Syracuse for almost three years now, and I love this little town. There are so many cute little shops that you can explore downtown. And when you're done shopping, there are so many places you can choose to eat. There are many choices that everyone is familiar with like Taco Bell or Dairy Queen or you can choose a local place like like Chubby's or the Frog Chavern. All the store owners are so friendly and helpful and willing and willing to make your visit the best it can be. If you want a small town experience experience, Syracuse is the place. Now I'll read one more. 
three star. I mean four star. But now this third one is a four star from November of 2020. I grew up in this small town of Syracuse with Lake Wasat. I can't with Lake with lakes near. It's always a fun place to go swimming or boating. Syracuse provides you with the small town experience with many fun restaurants and trails to walk. Already, we're going to go down to this three star. Okay, this first one, which is the three star, is from January of 2018. Syracuse is mostly geared towards the people that have summer homes on Lake. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I thought the lake was named after the city, but everyone's referring the name of the lake to Lake Wasa, uh, W A W. I can't pronounce this, man. I can't pronounce the name of this lake. It's Lake Wa. That's. I. You know what? Let me. I'm gonna pause this for a minute, and I'm gonna look up the proper way to pronounce to pronounce the name of the lake. All right, folks. I apologize for that. I just had to look something up real quick. So, the lake is called Lake Wawasee, and Lake Wawasee and Lake Syracuse are both here in Syracuse, Indiana. The the, the two lakes are right by each other. They're that the two lakes run into each other, I believe. But there's two lakes in the city, Sir Lake Syracuse and Lake Wawasee. I just had a look of how to pronounce it. And I also needed to make sure. I also wanted to, you know, do a little bit more research in terms of the two lakes. So my apologies. I try to make these videos as accurate as possible here. So I'm gonna go back and reread that statement. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start over with that again because I was interrupted. So this state, this first statement is from January of, you know what? Yeah, is this is from January of 2018? I'm gonna read that statement again. It's a three star. Syracuse is mostly geared towards the people that have. Summer homes on Lake Wawasee. There isn't much to much to do other than being on the lake because it's a small town. I would like to see the crime rate go down because there are many people whose names appear in the paper for getting picked up for drugs or what have you. And this next one, which is another three star from September of 2017. It is a small country town, but I really like it. I live on the outskirts, but even in town, there is not too much traffic. I recommend it for any small town lovers. And now we're gonna jump down to the two star comment. Now this one was oh, pretty recent. Two, this comment was from two months ago, a two star. The town is quiet. It doesn't have a lot to offer, but can be simple, can be a simple uh, getaway. I would have given it a higher rating. However, the Brooks Point Inn brought it down. This establishment is not ran well and has left a bad taste in our mouths. They have a loyalty, a loyalty program that they do not honor properly. And they blacklist you if you give them a two star or below rating. It's written in their policy. If someone gives an honest review about the facility, they attack the reviewer. They stole our money and did not provide services paid for. We do not recommend this place. Well, sorry that that person had a negative experience at the hotel. 
but maybe it's a little easier said than done but when you travel you got to separate some of these crappy hotels experiences from the overall experience that you may have in the actual community and that's my two cents anyway all right folks that's going to do it for the commentary uh hopefully you guys got something out of it if you like if you like what i do on this channel and you want to support the channel all you need to do is to give videos like this a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already already go ahead and subscribe to the channel and on that note uh everybody try to have a blessed day and there is another uh 37 minutes left of the video and i would like for you guys to stick around and watch the remainder of this video so you can see more of this beautiful city or town whatever you want to call it and on that note i'll catch you guys on the next one